All right, how about some Yankees news? How about some trade news? How about some little funky news? Let's start with the Yankees first. Tanner Swanson, who's their catching coach, okay, catching instructor, whatnot, um, he's been given an extension. Well-deserved based on what he's done with Kyle Gashioka and, and Jose Trevino. And we'll see what he does with um, um, Ben Rorfett as well. But fantastic news. We already know that Matt Blake got extended a couple weeks ago. So um, so the pitching catching combo are back in effect together, which is good, which I think they'll, you know, they'll good work here with some of the young players, some of their existing players, and continue the good work that they've been doing, putting together a fundamentally very sound team. And hopefully they continue with that. The bullpen's been strong. Hopefully, you know, you got Carlos Rodon here. You have some really seasoned pitchers as well as bullpen guys and catchers as well. So congratulations to Tanner Swanson and congratulations to, obviously, Matt Blake. Matt Blake happened a couple of weeks ago, maybe two or three weeks ago. Got extended very quietly. Um, and we know that Brian Cashman got extended too for a four-year deal. But that's the one piece of Yankees news that I have for you. Trade-wise... The Red Sox have acquired uh, their new uh, maybe stopgap or regular shortstop. They acquired Adalberto Mondesi from the Kansas City Royals. Now, this guy's not really known for his bat, okay? Um, he's known more for his defense, and he, but he's, he, he was basically left without a spot after Bobby Witt Jr. came up and basically took over. So they acquired him for, um, who was this? Josh Taylor, looks like, a left-handed uh, reliever. In exchange, so Boston is sending Josh Taylor over 29-year-old reliever for 27-year-old at Alberto Mondesi. Again, could be a stopgap. We don't know. And again, it's not known for his bat. Josh Taylor, on the other hand, is four and three with a 3.69 ERA in 2022. Actually, his career he's got a 2.3 WAR in his career. So, you know, not not a big uh, body of stats, but it is what it is. Now, in terms of Mon- Mondesi, not really known for his bat, but he did uh, drop 10 triples in 2019. He also is known for stealing bases at, uh, let's see, four straight years, 32, 43, 24, and 15 from 2018 to 2021. Okay, in a short period of time, he had five stolen bases this past year. Wasn't a good batting average either, but he's a career about 240 hitter. But if you extrapolate it uh, over a 162-game average, he averages about 55 to 60 stolen bases. So he's got good legs. And again, he needs to get it right with the bat because he does have really good, um, really good exit velocity, average and max. He's got... Top of the line elite sprint speed. Um, he's better than, well, he's right around mid average on hard hit percentage, but his arm strength is also at the top. So, well, he's ranked about almost an 80, and uh, that's pretty good arm strength. So, um, that's what we have for you right now. And the last bit of funky news I want to share with you um, is uh, this is an unfortunate news. Mike Clevenger, remember former star, uh, stud starting pitcher with the, uh, the Padres, he was with the In- Guardians, now he's with the Padres, well, he's now under investigation for domestic abuse from the wife of his, I think it's 10-month-old or 10-year-old kid, and he's also under investigation for child abuse. It's unfortunate, so, and again, if it, happen- you know, if it happens to be true, then he should be held accountable for all this stuff, and it's, it's very unfortunate, so um, that's what I have for you right now. So with trade, and again, this is a pretty solid trade for the, you know, the, the, the Royals are bringing in another solid relief pitcher, and again, they've made some quiet moves, and I mean, Mondesi is no replacement for uh, his Andrew Bogarts, but you know they had to bring in somebody. And since they didn't bring in any other the one big guys and didn't return their own big guy, this is a move as an incremental move. And again, I don't see them being last. I can see them being maybe being fourth this year. I general, very rarely do the, do the Red Sox state last or very bad for more than one year. They make adjustments. And would I be surprised if they won more games than that? No. I, I you know I'm I'm really curious to see if Baltimore is going to hold that standard as well. And we don't know what Toronto and Tampa are going to do either. So uh, it's, it's going to be a really, really interesting season in the AL East. But that's what I have for you right now. And again, you know, this is a good move by the Yankees, extending that uh, catching, catching coach along with their pitching coach as well. So they've done a good job so far, and I hope they continue to do that. But that's what I have for you right now. You know exactly what to do. If you don't want to miss it, I'll keep putting out good content for you. Talk to you later.